the world has set foot in an era of technological evolution where we breathe science. With a series of unique tech innovations and concepts to make life a little easier, China has achieved another milestone with the fastest ever ground vehicle rolling on its land, the maglev train. Welcome to TechSpot. On July 20th, 2021, China Railway Rolling Stock Corporation, CRRC, Qingdao Sifeng Co. Limited, an industrialization base for manufacturing high-speed trains in China, unveiled a homegrown, self-developed magnetic levitation train, which it claims to be the fastest ground vehicle ever built. With a gleaming silver body blended with a tinge of blue, the maglev train looks absolutely stunning as it lends an impression of the ultimate luxury. With its ability to achieve about 373 miles per hour, once reaching up to speed, it is estimated to take only 2.5 hours to travel from Beijing to Shanghai by train, which is a journey of more than 746 miles. The superspeeder delivers the best solution for trips within range of 932 miles. Bridging the speed gap between aviation with a cruising speed of 497 miles per hour and high-speed trains having maximum operating speeds of about 217 miles per hour. Lu Huapu, director of the Transportation Research Institute of Tsinghua University, told the Global Times that the development of the high-speed transportation system boosts China's mission of establishing three-hour transportation circles between major cities, which was put forth in a 2019 guideline. The project was launched back in October 2016, when the high-speed maglev train project witnessed the development of a magnetic levitation train prototype that accomplished a successful test run in June 2020. An integration of the maglev transportation system and a train with five carriages ran well on a test line within the factory. The fact that makes maglev trains so exceptional is that they don't run technically, they fly. Maglev stands for magnetic levitation. The super plush carriages don't really contact the rails below them, but levitate above them, enabling itself to move faster by eliminating the friction that a conventional train generates as the wheels roll over the rails. So the high-speed maglev train will be suspended, run, and directed without contact between the train and the track, floating in the air. But how would they float? Taking you back to middle school science classes, when the like poles of two magnets are brought in close proximity, they repel each other. This principle pumps the heart of maglev trains as they work on the electromagnetic forces between the carriages and the track. But the typical magnets wouldn't do the job of running these enormous maglev trains. The magnets used in such trains are known as superconducting magnets, which are distinguished as electromagnets that are cooled to extreme temperatures during use, which remarkably improves the power of the magnetic field. The U.S. Department of Energy explains that a maglev train mostly leans onto three types of loops. One creates a field that makes the train hover about five inches above the guideway. The second one keeps the train stable horizontally. And the third set of loops is a propulsion system run by switching current power. Therefore, both magnetic attraction and repulsion are utilized to run the train car along the guideway. What a brilliant innovation out of science. If you're enjoying this video, Make sure to like and subscribe. CRRC Qingdao Sifeng Rolling Stock Research Institute, CRRC SRI, conveyed to the Global Times that the train will feature a self developed whirlpool brake system, which is reasonably more efficient than previous efforts. This super train will only take 6.2 miles to pull up, where the existing Shanghai Maglev takes about 10 miles. Technicians of the company formulated the magnetic poles for whirlpool brakes on the maglev train in a span of 19 months. These magnetic poles can withstand vibrations and can be recycled at temperatures from negative 25 degrees Celsius to 170 degrees Celsius. For safe and stable operations, the train is equipped with a power supply system. If it exceeds 62 miles per hour, the train will run on non-contact power supply. It also features a train receiver system, which has been formulated by the CRRC SRI. According to the company, 
this system can work like magic from negative 25 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius and presents good environmental adaptability. CRRC SRI Coupler project leader Zhang Yulong told Global Times that the project researchers developed an articulated coupler for the train by using forged aluminum alloys as the key structural part, which ensured that the relative motion between the train cars is less than one millimeter. The coupler length is only 280 millimeters and weighs less than 30 kilograms, which meets the extremely spatial requirements of the maglev train. CRRC SRI has also supplied it with an anti-vibration system, electricity system, passenger information system, and other essential units for the proper functioning of the maglev train. The train will also include 5G network connection for the Wi-Fi system to keep the commuters entertained and active on the go, and will also provide wireless charging options. The train can travel with two to 10 carriages, each holding more than 100 commuters, according to Ding Sansan, chief engineer of the project. Maglev trains are exceptionally easy to maintain. They encounter only minor wear and tear, as there are no parts scratching against each other. That means freedom from the hassle of changing parts and units every now and then, which is sadly the case with most conventional trains. Maglev trains are also considered to be extremely safe and solid, as their design and the way they operate eliminate the scope of derailment. Even while moving at a tremendous speed, passengers experience a smooth and comfortable ride, as the only friction encountered is by air. These trains also generate little to no air pollution during operation. As a new mode of high-speed ground travel, the train is safe, durable, reliable, generates low noise pollution, minimal vibration, large passenger capacity, and needs less maintenance. What more could you ask for? But there is something that holds back. The cost. These trains are incredibly expensive. As of now, only countries like France, Japan, Spain, South Korea, and China operate such grand transportation systems. Many other nations are also looking forward to design maglev networks. Although, pocket-heavy costs and incompatibility with prevailing track infrastructure impose obstacles to timely development. China claims this will be the fastest ground vehicle on the planet. Although, the Central Japan Railway Company has already taken a step up and tested its own high-speed maglev at a world record of 374.6 miles per hour. The country is creating a new maglev line between Tokyo and Nagoya, which is scheduled to unwrap in 2027. It's a race indeed. The magnetic levitation technology has been in use for over two decades in the country, at a limited scale though. Anyhow, China already has the world's fastest commercial maglev service. In 2003, the country's fastest train maglev started running in China with a maximum speed of about 268 miles per hour. Connecting Shanghai Pudong Airport with Longyag Road at the eastern end of Shanghai. Reports indicate that while China has many high-speed maglev trains, there is only one commercially operated maglev track. There are a number of maglev tracks currently under construction, intended for connecting most of its major cities, which will eventually bring down the travel expenses for the passengers. It's not yet evident where exactly these vehicles will be rolled out, but Nikkei Asia brings up that CRRC exports trains all over the world, primarily to countries that have signed Beijing's Belt and Road Infrastructure Initiative. Although the maglev prototype train is set to lift off the production line, there is no track for the new inner city maglev yet in China that could bring about the fair use of the high speed trains. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.